Hi, welcome you again. Um, I'm Sabir here again. So in this lecture, I'm going to uh, teach you about two, two important terms that would be really helpful for you to understand. Number one is chronic delta. Um, K R O N E C K E R chronic delta D L T A chronic delta. So it is as delta I J. And another term is to permutation symbol permutation permutation symbol which is expressed by uh, epsilon i j k. So, bro, uh, so in this lecture, I'm going to make you understand what is the chronic chronic delta and what is the permutation symbol. Okay. So let's get started with chronic uh, delta. So chronic delta is expressed by delta ij, and there is a value of ij here. The chronic delta value can be either one or either zero. So when either when either when is one and when is zero, right? So when the index is in the index is or uh, there is index is two, there are two indices here ij right here. So if when the indices are same. When the index is same, that means j equal to i or i equal to or so or i equal to j, then we say it is one. Otherwise, when uh, j equal to not i or i equal to not j, then we say it is j. So for example, here I can write down this equation. So what is the tensor of the chronic delta? Chronic the chronic delta tensor is here so here i j so we can write down this tensor here delta 1 1 right yeah delta 1 2 here and delta 1 3 and delta sorry oops 2 1 delta 2 2 here delta 2 3 here delta you can write 3 1 delta 3 2 and delta 3 3 so this is the tensor of chronic delta right yeah so it's a matrix of that so according to the chronic delta so uh, here the two indices here right one and one ij so this is the, the first index is i and second index is j here the first index is okay i'm going to change the color here so it'll be better for you so the first index is here the uh, first index is the second index is I and J, so this is the I and this is J, right? So uh, according to the chronic delta, if the I and J is equal to one, I equal same equal I equal to J, then the value of that uh, component should be one, otherwise J, right? So here we see that here this value uh, would be one, right? Here this value should be zero because the indexes are not same one. Equal 1 equal to not 2 right here so this value would be 0 this value would be 0 here 2 1 because the index is here i and j is equal to not, not same. but here uh, you say is, is the same so this would be the 1 so this would be 0 this would be 0 and this would be 0 and this would be same so what you can write down here so chronic delta 1 so here is the 1 right 1 this is the 0 0 the 0 1 0 so 0 0 and 1 so we can write down 1 0 0 so 0 1 0 so 0 0 and 1 so this is the chronic delta value this is the chronic delta tensor yep oh sorry oops so i'm sorry so this should be yeah so this should Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So this should be one here. This should be one here. So this is the identity matrix, right? So this is the identity matrix. Chronic delta is nothing but this is the identity matrix. So we can write down. So so from this you can uh, so from this we can write down here. So if we write down here, what is the chronic delta? Uh, I I. So chronic delta I. You can write down here. Chronic delta one one. This is I. Okay. If it is same, I I is equal to one one equal to one sorry 
2 2 equal to Kronika delta 3 3 equal to 1 right so if we write on the plus so 1 1 plus sigma 1 2 plus no, 3 sorry 3 3 equal to sorry this should be the 2 2 2 2 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 so equal to 3 or something like that right so we can uh, do this or according to that so this is important so for, I'm going to make you an understand with giving you an example uh, arrangement matrix. So we know if any matrix uh, is multiplied by any arrangement matrix, then the resultant matrix should be the same, right? So for example, here we have a, a matrix A. I'm changing, I'm going to change the color. Be better for you, yeah. Color. And so here, if we have A equal to say uh, two, four. 5 so here 3 so arbitrarily i'm going to write down this tense or something a is a tense or matrix. so say 5 here say 2 3 6 right so this is the matrix and if i'm going to multiply with the uh, matrix a with chronica delta that means a times chronica delta then we can write down here something like that so here 2 4, 5, 3, 6, 5, 2, 3, 6, so with that to our chronic delta or is chronic delta 1, 0, 0, so 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, so, so if we uh, multiply with that, then we can find 2 times 1, right, 2 times 1 plus 4 times 0 plus 5 times 0 so we'll get the first time is 2 only here right the same way you can get this 4 5 3 6 5 or something like that so you get to get it again 2 4 5 3 6 5 and 2 3 6 so we'll get the same thing right Yes. Okay, so I'm going to make you another example here. So it will be really helpful for you. Yes. Oh, it's raining outside here in Dhaka, so it's really lovely. It's really good. So chronic, I'm going to make you uh, an example in coordinate system, so it'd be really helpful for you to understand the system or something like that. So, uh, I'm going to change the color, red, and yeah. so for, uh, we know in Cartesian coordinate system, right? So if right down here, so it, if it is x, if it is y, and J and so for example here we have unit vector along the x-axis is E1 and uh, unit vector along the y-axis E2 along uh, unit vector at the mm, is uh, if along the z-axis then it is called it right so from the dot product we know that uh, so if we write down the dot uh, dot product E1 dot E2 equal to norm of E1 times norm of E2 right equal to cos theta. So what is the value of cos theta? So it is the unit vector you know, right? So so we know the the angle between the x and y is 90 degree or y z is 90 degree. So every angle here is 90 degree, right? So every angle here is 90 degree, right? So 90 degree, right? So if one is E1 and E2, then cos theta would be 90 degree and the whole term should be zero, right? So at the same way we can write down here e2 dot e3 e2 norm of e2 and e3 norm and cos 90 degree would be zero. But what if we write down here e1 dot e1 then e norm of e1 sorry e1 what is the angle between the uh, e1 and e1? So angle between u and m is zero, absolutely zero degree, right? So it is zero degree. So it is zero. Cos zero degree. 
Oh, so I'm right. In... Sorry, 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 this should be the one, right? Yeah. So what we can conclude or what we can make some calculation from here about the chronic delta how can that be right? So in this is here if the uh, if the E has the same indices, say for example here I right dot E I then the value should be one right but the indices is not the same say for example I dot J then the value should be zero right here so we, we have already seen here so we can we can write down here our Mm, write down this expression uh, according with, with the chronic delta say e i dot e j equal to chronic delta so it doesn't matter whenever whenever i and j wouldn't uh, i and i wouldn't equal to say equal to j then it would be zero or when i uh, would be equal to j then it should be one right so we can write down our coordinate system r uh, e one dot E j equal to chronic delta. So th this kind of formula, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go to the permutation symbol. It's also important for us to make uh, this thing. So I'm going to uh, remove all these things to write down here. So yeah. Because I don't have base mark base here. So it will really help. Oh, oops, or I can do something. Yep. So let's, let's now start with the permutation symbol. So it's also important to, uh, for us to understand, better understand the tensor and the mechanics of tensor, something like that. So what is the permutation symbol, right? Yeah. Permutation, when permutation, permutation symbol. So what is permutation symbol? Permutation symbol is expressed by I, J, and K. Okay, so um, uh, permutation symbol I, J, K has, has the same value, uh, say, we have a same as chronic delta, but it has extra value minus one. So it has a uh, value say, its value is plus one, its value is minus one, but zero, okay? <clears throat> So it has three indices, right? So if the three indices form a cyclic permutation or for example, or even permutation, then it is positive one. I, I'm going to make you understand what is the even or cyclic permutation. So positive one, if it is the uh, non-cyclic or anti-cyclic or odd permutation forms an odd permutation, whether then it's uh, minus one, otherwise if the indices are same, for example, one, 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 or two, 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 or three, 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 then it's zero, right? So if we write down here um, three indices, so we can express it one to three, right? So C, uh, epsilon, epsilon one to three, or epsilon three, 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 or uh, uh, so two, two, three. So we have three, right? So we can write down the one to three. We, we can express the uh, indices in terms of express one to three, right? So if it is one to three, say for example one two three, then two three one, or three one two. These are the cyclic permutation. Why the cyclic permutation? Because one two it starts with one, right, and ends with three. So here it starts with two, say two three, then it begins with one, right? Two three and one. So it, it starts with t here, so t and then it begins with next term should be begin from 1, 1, 2. So this is cycle, it meant is the cycle, right? So this is a cyclic permutation or it is it forms an even permutation, right? So that's why the value of such as 1, uh, epsilon 1, 2, 3 or epsilon 2, 3, 1 or epsilon 3, 1 would be equal to the positive 1. And if it forms an uh, anticyclic, for example, here, Two, one, three. So it doesn't follow in cycle two. Then it starts with one, but it was supposed to follow two, three, one, but it doesn't. That's why it is anticyclic, right? So again, you can write down two, three, two, one. It was supposed to uh, start three, one, two, but it doesn't. That's why it is anticyclic. Again, you can write down three, one, three, two. 
it was supposed to go like this one two three but it doesn't that's why it's anticyclic that's why all the values of epsilon something like that should be minus one right okay and all the, all the other values say two 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 or one or one or three 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 equal to zero yeah so this is the uh, permutation symbol so i'm going to make you uh, understand more detail all about that coordinate system sometimes so for example here we can so so we can write down here uh, so it's very easy you can write down uh, so yeah ij k equal to F, sorry, epsilon j k i equal to epsilon uh, k i j sorry k i j equal to minus epsilon j i k right yeah so this is same uh, epsilon k j i k j i equal to minus uh, i j k something like something something like that so you understand all the things or all the possible things okay so uh, uh i'm going to more details all Oh, sorry. So I'm going to make you understand with the coordinate system. So how can we apply this in the coordinate system? Yeah. So I can change the color so that it will be really helpful for you. So if we have uh, the same as coordinate co uh, chronica delta, so if coordinate here x axis right, and we have another axis j. x is y and this x so if you say unit vector along the x axis is e1 unit vector along this is e2 unit vector along this is e3 so we can write down according to the cross product here e1 cross product e2 equal to what is that e1 norm e2 norm sine theta right Sin theta. So, uh, so doesn't even even if, does, if we don't like like this here, here. So, so we can write down here. E1 cross E2. Uh, we know it is the E3, right? Because uh, in according to the definition of cross product, we say uh, the cross product of E1 and E2. This is the plane, right? So, this 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 is this is this is the plane, right? So, the the resultant should be the uh, should be some some vector that is perpendicular to the plane. So what is the that? So E3 is perpendicular to E1, E2, and E1, right? So E3. So it's a positive one, positive one E3, right? So if you write down here, say E2 cross E1, then it should be minus E3. So it minus one E3. So we see uh, we see here that sometimes uh, if you write down here E1 cross e2 then it doesn't form anything so this should be zero right so we see here positive one minus one and zero so we can we can express this cross product according to our uh, with our permutation symbol so how we can express that it's very easy so mm, ei cross ej so we can express uh, our permutation symbol i j k and this should be e k right so these are permutation symbol convention or something like that so it is very it is very helpful i hope yeah so in this lecture i saw uh, i I, I teach you i taught you about the uh, two broad important terms chronicle delta and permutation symbol those two terms are really helpful for any engineering or geophysical or any applied science branches uh, to make uh, understand all to uh, to understand the, uh, more complicated things or more complicated things, so I, uh, I you would see how you would use this broad, broad terms in, in next lecture. So I'm going to see you. As, I'm going to see you as well about that. Okay, thank you very much for being uh, with me, and I'm. Uh, I hope to see you on the next lecture.